Hello and welcome to this How Do I video. Today I'm going to show you how you can submit an assignment. Here I am on any course page and I'm looking for an assignment to submit. If you're taking a class from Professor Bellin, you should always scroll down to the bottom of that very first page because that's where she's likely to put the very first assignment that you have. And that's the assignment that can be found right here, the Academic Honesty Assignment. There are two ways to identify an assignment. First is by the icon, and the second is by noticing that there are instructions also attached to it. But when you can see the instructions, that's only part of the picture. Now you're probably wondering, well, gee, how do I actually, how do I actually submit my assignment? Well, I have to be attentive to the fact that every assignment has a live link in its title. So the title of any assignment is a live link to the submission area. Notice the live link, and when I click on it, it takes me to the submission area. Opening up with just a click, I see the instructions again, I see the due date, and I see the assignment submission area. If I just scroll down a little bit, I can see area two, which allows me two modes to submit an assignment. The first is by browsing my computer and attaching my file, which is an excellent thing to do if what I want to do is attach a doc, a docx, or a PDF. That's the best way to do it. And what this allows is for the instructor to see my assignment exactly as I posted it. The second way that I can submit an assignment is by opening up the type submission area, which opens a text box that allows me to type in my text or cut and paste from my file. This I can do any old way. Preferences for the uh, submission to be viewable in the way that I intend it. So I want to use the browse my computer and attach my file as a docx, a doc, or a PDF. So once I click on this, it opens up my, my desktop and I can select my file. I select my file and then I want to post it. Easy peasy. And it attaches and once the file attaches in the system, it will show you that it's a docx, which is perfect. Now what I can do is I can save this as a draft by going down to the next step, saving it as a draft, saving it as a draft allows me to save it for later in case I realize or forget something. You want to be careful about submitting an assignment right away. Most instructors allow only one submission and if I submit right away it means that the only way I can review that is by asking the professor to send it back to me. So saving as a draft avoids that complication. Once I think I'm finished, I'm finalized, and I want to submit it, I can click the submit button, but only when I'm sure. Submitting the assignment does something nice. It shows me exactly what it will look like for my professor. And across the top, in the green band, it shows me that the assignment was submitted properly. Another way that I can check for my submission is by going to the My Grades area, which allows me to confirm that my submission was received by the system and is ready for the instructor. Opening up the My Grades area, I can see a yellow exclamation mark beside my actual assignment. And that shows me that it's been received. Also notice across to the right, it indicates the date and time that I submitted it. 